He died this past February. Harry Landis was 108, the oldest of the last two surviving native-born American World War I veterans. The seventh of eight children of Missouri farmers died in a Central Florida nursing home where he cared for his 100-year-old wife until his death. Renowned photographer David DeYoung, creator of the World War I Survivor Project, remembers Landis. Harry Landis from Tampa, Florida, and this one I took uh, about uh, in March of last year, 2007, and uh, he lived about an hour and a half north of my parents, um, so my father came to this session with me. He is holding his photograph of himself from the SATC, or Student Army Training Corps. Uh, he was in Missouri and did not go overseas. So he's got his memory book and then there again in the background to draw you through the image is that flag hanging again. It's just very subtle, very soft, but something to create it to bring you through the image and focus on it for more than just a second. You can view all of DeYoung's photos of the last eight American World War I survivors and one Canadian at the VA and DOD web address on the screen.